Hi, welcome to today's video and today is going to be a little bit different. Obviously this setup is all weird, um, not my usual setup, but it's the best way I could show you all the tips and tutorials and things with the screen and show you all the lenses and things. It's basically going to be a Snapchat tutorial, just your basic stuff, but then at the end or halfway through I'm going to show you some really cool like little tricks and tips that you can make your Snapchats quite cool and I have to say I'm absolutely loving Snapchat and it's not just for teenagers, it's for adults and grown-ups like me too and I'm having lots of fun on it so I just dying to show you all the different features and things that I found out. So, basics. I'm not going to look at the camera all the time, obviously I'm going to show you the screen but as I say this is the best way to show you all the different features and this is my setup here that I usually do when I'm doing videos. So as you can see on the screen, this is the main screen that you get when you first launch um, Snapchat and if you want to get your profile picture straight away, you can either tap the ghost or swipe down and there is my little profile picture which you can't see very clearly, but it's Jane Jones JJ. And this is where you can add friends, um, see who's added you and also um, see what friends you've got. If you want to change your picture so you can make it animated like that, you just tap it and press that button here and then you can do loads of little snaps and then make a like animated video like that. That's not one of my best ones, but it will do. Then on this side um, here, this is where all your stories will be and all your recent ones. So when people post to it, they can see all your different stories. And this is my stories that I've done so far, which I'll show you them in a moment. And then this square button here is to see all your recent chats and things with people. And these will tell you whether they've been opened or not. So that one, um, I've read it. This one, I've sent it, but it's been delivered. She's not opened it yet. Krishna's, you can see, she's. Um, I've already opened that one, again with Sherry and Christina. She's opened it, but I haven't replied. So they're the, like the basic stuff. And up here you've got your flash button, so if you want to have flash, you can do. It's also a night mode for night time as well. And then here is if you want to flick the camera back that way, and then back to your face, like so. And then if you want to as well to add different lenses, if you press and hold your face, like so, it scans it and then brings up all these really cool features like this. Okay. Ooh, I thought I couldn't get it working then. And we've got this one here, which is pretty cool. Cool, or oh, this. Hello! I like this one. I think this looks quite nice. You can pretend you're at the beach. How beautiful. How beautiful and lovely is the beach? Yes, I really like that one. Um, it's different, isn't it? So you can talk like this if you want to as well. Um, but these are how you get the different lenses and then you just either tap the button to take a photo or you can if you want to do a video at the same time. I like this one as well because you've got green eyes. And this is rather strange, this one. But they're quite funny if you like sending silly ones to your friends then I'm sure you'll like this. But it's different. <sighs> yes, very different. But this one is my favourite one at the moment. I keep using this one all the time. So that's all you do to get um, filters and lenses and things. That's dead easy. Then if you want to add text to your pictures. So for, in fact, we'll take a picture. Let's take a picture. We'll make sure it's a half decent one since it's on YouTube. So we'll take a picture. Um, like so. So I've got a picture. Then if you want to add um, text first of all, you press that T button up there and you can type in the text. Hello. And then you can either have it like that, where you've got this black line. Or if you want to, press the T again and you have a few different options. So we'll go with that one. And then if you want to change the colour of it, if you just tap and hold it again, and you can either turn change the colour of all of it, you might let things move in. So you can change it all like that. Or if you want to have it multicoloured, just to highlight some of the text, select which one you want to change. So say if you want to change the H to a different colour, you can do. And that way as well you can have multicoloured text. So that's dead easy to do. And you can just have it all matching all your different. And you can make it bigger, you can turn it, like so. You can do all sorts of it just to make your snaps look really, really fancy and different. And if you want to as well, you can add some stickers and these are all the different emojis. So we'll go with this one and you can drag it where you want it to go and you can make that big as well. So that can really take over your screen as well. So that is pretty cool. I like those. And if you, want, if you make a mistake and want to get rid of it, you can just drag it back up there. And then as well, if you want to, um, we'll just should we keep that text for now down here. If you want to, you can add colours and you can hand draw things. So this red one here, you could draw a little heart if you want to. And to change the colour, you just go up and down this slider. Now if you want in white, 
um, just go up as high as you can and then go over to the left and eventually it'll go white as you can see it's quite pink there but if you keep going keep your finger on the screen when you've used the slider and go over it's gone white if you want it to go black let's tap it again use the slider and then go right down and then you can see there it's gone black as well so that's how you get black and white it doesn't show on there but you can do and if you want to delete it you can do like so you just press that back button there so that one's dead easy to use as well and then when you're ready um, if you want to decide how long you want it to share for so like three seconds five seconds I always forget and leave it on 10 seconds so all the people watching my story the poor things I have to probably tap to get away, but I say six seconds. If you want to save it to your camera roll, press this button here. If you want to send it straight to your story, press that one there. Or if you want to send it to specific people, just press that one there. That's all you need to do with your snaps, it's dead easy. Now as well, if you want to, when you've taken a picture, you want to add different text sizes. I'll show you how to do that as well. So if you want to add more than one text, this is my daughter's iPad, so I'll just go and use it. And hopefully oh, she's got nothing on here. Let's go here and we'll just type and test in this. Ooh. Test and then go down, press return, say five times. One, two, three, four, five. Then highlight this empty space. So select all. I'm not going to select that bit where it says test, just underneath. So you can see we've got a little blank area there. Press copy. And then if you go out of that and back into Snapchat, Take another picture. That doesn't look very exciting, but there you go. Then in the text area, if you paste that blank space, you've then got a massive box where you can type in. And let's go to the top line. Up here, just press. And that's how you can go. So hello. Hello. And then go to the next line. the next line and so on and you can basically type then lots of writing you can type more than that obviously is when you can fill all the space in here that's just an example and then you can just move it where you want if you want to change it again you can do like so so you can change where what sort of size it is as well so that's how I have more text than just the one line because it comes in handy sometimes having more than one um, line of text then I'll just show you my um, snapchats that I do and I try and make them all a little bit different and I like to add music on them and things. Um, which one shall I put? This is what I do at night time at the end of the day. And I like to do something a little bit different and I can't play, oh, in fact I'll turn the volume down because it's got music on it. And obviously I can't play music on YouTube. So I'll let you just listen to it for one second and then I'll stop it and start it again. I'll turn it down. But this is basically what I do. I do different like uh, well just like emojis I've got on this one I've got a bit of text and I have music relevant to the text in the background now to do this you can't do a picture because with picture you can't have any sound so I cover my lens up and I do a video hold it down so you can't say anything but a black screen for 10 seconds and then I add some music to it put a few emojis on as you can see and some writing and then you've made your own little snap now if you want to add music it's dead easy to do I'll show you what to do all you need to do is, it's really easy, go to your music app, play some music which of your choice and while it's playing go back into Snapchat and start recording and as soon as you start recording it's going to record your music that is playing in the background. Then when you've 10 seconds of your video is done, quickly nip out, turn your music off and go back into Snapchat and it's still obviously in the same video playing the music for you so you can hear it properly. And say if you haven't got a song as well, so if you're looking for a specific song and you haven't got it in your iTunes, in your library itself, you can go to the iTunes app, find a song you like, listen to the, is it one minute demo that they play for you? You can listen to that demo and while you're listening to that demo, go back into Snapchat and you can use that music as well. So basically you can use any song on your Snapchat background. Um, as long as you can find it obviously. And it'll play in your Snapchat, which I think is a really cool feature. I love having music in mine which I'll show you. So I normally have music on a morning, my first one, and on my last one as well. So I'll just show you my story. I'll have to... So like this one is <laughs> me singing away um, on the school run with the children. Then this is how we ended the night, last night, as I say, with the emoji. 
and then in the morning I do some random clip and that's just my bad hair day and I've got some relevant music in the background which I don't want to play too much and then this was me telling everybody that I was going to do a YouTube video I just do random stuff really whatever <laughs> I feel like and that was the last one of the day that one again is not very exciting um, but it's still a story but that's how I do my I tend to do mainly stories and um, then obviously just a friend send random ones <laughs> to my daughter send silly ones then if you, here you can see all the stories of your friends and then recent updates if you want to see a recent update you just tap on it football related and you can see them so there's mquan there so I watch his vlogs on snap he does some really cool vlogs on snapchat really interesting ones like a follow-up from his youtube channel as well so that's worth watching and then our lovely Ginny as well um shall i press it <laughs> hopefully she's not doing anything she don't want me to share meeting out with my sister oh it looks nice there so that's Ginny's as well. Me and Ginny are like little Snapchat friends. We're always messaging things. Oh, there's a sister. Cool. Um, so yes, that's another cool feature. Now, when you take a picture as well, just take another. Let's what should we use? We'll use this. <laughs> right, and then when you've taken a picture, if you want to use a filter or if you've taken a video as well, you just swipe like so. It will just allow access. Now to do this, what you've got to do is you've got to allow permissions, so if you allow filters, okay that's fine, and what this does is it's like um, location filters as well, so you can have ones like this where it tells you the time or the temperature, and there's like black and white, different colours, that really brings out the colour of my phone, and that one there, all different ones, and there's fast forward as well, not on this one, but on my phone there's like fast forward, um, slow, and there's also a location one, so you might be, say, in a busy city, I don't know if it works in Leeds or not, but a busy city, and it'll have the name of the town on there as well, instead of the time, so you can add that to your filters as well. And if you want to add more than one filter, if you press your finger down and then just carry on swiping, you can add more than one filter, so you can see I've got two filters there, so that's handy as well. As you can see there, I've got a number one, which means I've got a message, so you can just swipe to the right to read that. But it is fairly easy to use, and I'm really loving it. It's a really cool app. If you want to add me on there, you can do. My username is Jane Jones JJ. It's the same as my Twitter and my Periscope and my Instagram and Vine. It's all the same. And um, if you want to share some tips as well, feel free in the comments below as I'm still fairly new at it, but as I say, I just wanted to share those tips that I found out because I do think they're quite useful and hopefully it's helped some of you as well. But feel free to let me know your username so I know to add you and I know you are. And thank you for watching. Bye for now. <laughs>